Is there a mask? Down. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. Winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of Bar Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Hully. Poet sarcastic Hully by most. Seven ale horns into his night, Hully stood upon his table and called across the room to another man, a skald named Chudolf. Chudolf! He yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with my belching than you could with your tongue and fine words. The room laughed. Chudolf loudest of all. I accept your challenge, sarcastic Halley, he shouted. Allow me to begin. Chudolf then spoke this verse. Sad Halley drowns in horns of hubris, squeaking like a stoat. Yet proudly the pup calls it poetry. The room laughed again, with Holly joining in. Then, Holly tripped across the room and opened his mouth to speak his verse. From his throat erupted a jet of vomit into Trudolf's face. His only composition that night, of which he seemed most proud. <laughs> Who will share a tale? Some time ago, I met a wandering skald in search of... Let the sail out! Sigmir! Ready, boats! is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in.
He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, you can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Have a look, Zunin. Blood Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Is that rat? I am going to skin him alive on sight. I will tear his throat from his neck with my teeth. Give me a hand! He 
means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. Your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. <laughs> That would take longer to repair. But you have a new friend to rely on me and my connections. The end of the storm is on the side. You're right. I know you're right. Ah! Help me with this.
over here. Can't do this alone. May you feast in Valhalla.
Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A trail like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And... there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of... understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grantbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Sounds for a new arrival. Who would it be? They bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. 